welcome to this what's turning out to be a beautiful sunrise here on Bow Fiddle here in Moray in the kind of north northeast of Scotland there is a bank of cloud you can't really see it in the video but there's a wee bank of cloud fog out in the horizon there that will potentially stop the sun at sunrise but it's looking really nice the colors are coming up it is 3 30 about 3 30 in the morning at the moment it is uh, June so you know we're we're coming to the early morning sunrises just now here in Scotland we are coming to the the second phase coming to our second phase but to go phase two yeah so we're about to reach phase two here in Scotland of the lockdown and this is the first time that I've really been out since my last video so it's been weeks if not probably months since properly out and it's just so good to be out to be out photographing joined by fellow photographer Steve who has come out met me up here and uh, it's just nice to be out photographing with someone else again rather than being by myself which is really good we're allowed to be that slightly closer to each other now which is sort two of meters. still two meters still keep that two meter distance getting eaten right now with the midges they are starting to come out even this time in the morning and um, this is actually probably the first midgey experience I've had this year so doing pretty well so far lights coming up it's looking really nice some orange just in the sky over here the Sun is due to rise just kind of in between the Bofidal rock and the edge of the 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 land here so it's gonna come up in the middle uh, and that's expected to be probably around about 4 30 this morning so that's gonna be good one of the things I'm trying out today is my first ever reverse grad filter so I got reverse grad from Nisi it arrived probably about two weeks ago and this is my first chance to get out and use it so it's not the best location for for trying that because you do have the kind of v-shaped land coming around here that's kind of the filter's got to be quite high up so it's okay it's nice I like it it's it's a great filter um, I think it's going to be something that's going to get used a lot for sunsets and sunrises I just think this location is maybe not the best place to do it but it's a beautiful filter. It's just with everything with Nisi. I'm, I'm loving them just now. Um, you know, it's a, it's a really nice, good quality filter. For those of you that have never heard of a reverse grad filter or are not really sure what it is, this is it here, okay? So what you have is bottom of the filter is quite clear and then in the middle it gets dark and it actually gradually gets lighter to the top. So the idea is you'd have it over this bit over here in the middle with your sunrise or sunset and then that will then kind of keep that sky well balanced with the light and it is it's really good I'm quite happy with it and um, this is actually the lowest I think this is the reverse grad I think this yeah the 0.9 so this is the three stop one um, and this is the, the the lightest one that they do at the moment so it would be great if there was a slightly lighter one but that seems to be it's fine for now One downside to being out again, especially in summer, the midges. I've not missed the midges. Um, the first encounter with them this year, which is not bad considering it's uh, the end of June, but we're both getting eaten alive right now. <coughs> Steve, my mate here, is wearing shorts, and his thinking behind the shorts is they're going to eat his legs rather than his face, but I don't think it's working. The hairs protecting him. The hairs are protecting his legs, as he says. <laughs> so no, it's not. Not, not ideal. Weather has been amazing recently. Um, I think yesterday was the hottest day of the year down in England. Um, it was pretty scorched up here. I think we were hitting on the 26 degrees Celsius or something like that yesterday. So I got a little bit of sunburn on my arm. 
um, which is nice and cool today, although I've got multiple layers on, I'm, I'm, I am actually feeling a little bit cold with it, um, but it's just nice to, to just have that refreshing coolness and, and be out here and not burning my head, which is what's been happening for the last few weeks that we've had sunrise, uh, sun, sun and heat. This week is actually my first full week back to work in the last 12, 13 weeks. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, you know, I've been looking after my kids while my other has been studying. Um, the wedding side of things have just completely shut down. I can't see me having any weddings this year. As a result of that, it does mean that next year is a little bit mental. It's going to be quite busy, but that's fine. So um, all my workshops that I had this year that have been postponed for next year, they've all been worked in and then all the weddings have been worked around that. So we've been very, very lucky, very fortunate that everything just seems to have kind of fixed into place. Um, I am currently working on my 2021 workshop list just now. So um, requests have started coming in for the Pharaohs um, and I think a lot of people are kind of taking this year and possibly next year off from doing any kind of extravagant spending that way. So we're gonna start putting together a list of that. Sun's come up, it's full on brightness now. Um, it's risen just above the, the kind of top of the head of the bow fiddle. Or I always say it looks a bit like an elephant's head with, an, with its tusk. And then when you look from it, from the sea, and the sea retracts, it looks like a whale's tail. It's it's pretty cool little rock here. Um, beautiful morning, just such a beautiful morning to be out in fresh air, not too warm. and. I've got a couple of images I'm really happy with. Um, yeah, actually, more so when the sun had risen, as you can see probably behind me. Here, the the sun has is is quite far up here, and I got a nice shot with. Ooh, there we go, just the sun just about there. I'm quite happy. Using reverse grad, now that sun's come up higher, I'm really happy with that reverse grad, and then also using a 10 stop filter has just just been perfect, just icing on the cake. So fingers crossed, I've come out with a good image and if I have, you'll see it next. Time to pack up. Not sure when we're gonna get out again, hopefully Hopefully soon, <laughs> hopefully get another outing soon. It's just been nice to get the sunrise, you know, and I went to bed about, about half eight at night. Everyone else went to bed uh, not long after and just to get that good four or five hours sleep, um, come out, shoot the sunrise and probably head home, process some images and go back to bed for a few hours, which is gonna be just nice. As long as the kids let me sleep, that's that's the most important thing. When you have young kids and landscape photography, it really doesn't mix. It's very, very difficult to kind of get that balance of managing two kids, especially a two-year-old and a five-year-old and my partner, and, and actually getting that free time to come out and take pictures is, is very difficult. But I think when you when you do get out, you appreciate it more. You you think more about where you're gonna go and what you're gonna photograph in and just, just value that time a little bit more than say most that get out all the time. So fingers crossed that this is gonna kinda help get out of that funk that we've been in, losing that mojo because of lockdown. And hopefully this is gonna push to get more, more pictures, although it will be through the summer months, but I'm looking forward to 
getting out and then in a few weeks time lockdowns can ease we can drive pretty much anywhere we want to go we can finally get back into the mountains and uh, looking forward to heading back up to the west coast and Torridon and, and the Cairngorms over the next coming months so yeah wrap it up pack up and get some coffee if you have enjoyed what you've watched today please please hit that like button hit the subscribe button get those followers in I really appreciate it any questions any comments anything at all please in the description below and I will do my best to answer them but until next time thank you very much for watching and enjoy your day